nowadays farmland worked on by uh, one or two larger farmers, but this wasn't the, always the case. In the country areas and also in the villages just outside the big cities, most of the families, they still owned a few acres of land, had some livestock. This went, went on right up until, let's say, the end of the 1980s, beginning of the 1990s. <coughs> So the men they had two jobs, their regular work, and also the part-time farmers, but uh, at the end of the 1980s, the very small farmers, I'm talking about 20 to 25 acres of land, really looked in and calculated our costs be being covered, am I making any profit, realised no costs weren't being covered by the time you bought the seed and you planted it fertilizer and anything to do with farming is labor intensive if you haven't got all the very expensive equipment all the children had to help they weren't always too enthused about it machinery as I also said very expensive to buy and also to maintain if you can't do it yourself so many of the smaller farmers they um, sold out to the larger ones. Now just to have a live off of farming you'll need about 500 acres. And then all those barns and stables that were no longer needed, most of the farm houses were or still are integrated into the little towns, little villages themselves. The ones that you see on the open land are the mostly newer farmers, the organic farmers. And then you didn't need the barns, you didn't need the stables, they were converted into living accommodation or for garages. Used to be a families only had one car now, depending how old the children are, you might have three or four. Is the temperature still okay for everybody on the coach? Yeah, yeah cool. So the cool in yeah, the front. Fonny is missing. Fonny. Now I've got a thumbs up. Okay. I'll have Fonny. Okay, so just put it, put it up for you yeah. right here in the front.
Landmine Metropole Region. As I said, we have Frankfurt International a few minutes from here. It's for one of the largest employers. Over 80,000 people work at Frankfurt International. Frankfurt itself, we will get there only a two second window where you do see some of the skyline when we change onto the freeway number five or motorway autobahn number five. But uh, on a normal working day, around 800,000 people work in Frankfurt, normal working day, that number doubles. So anything to do with finance will be in the Frankfurt, that is the financial capital of Germany. All the banks have their headquarters there. It's the seat of the European Central Bank, the German Federal Bank, the National Audit Office. Got anything to do with banking? That would be Frankfurt. Also, the leading stock exchange in Germany is also at, uh, at Frankfurt. You either love or hate the city. We spent uh, 15 years there. As I mentioned earlier on, I came from London in January of 1980 to start work at Frankfurt, and would we loved it there. We had a great time. Then we moved to other cities, and finally to the countryside. We're now living in the back where my husband originally came from, now that his parents are getting a bit older. But we had a great time in Frankfurt. Also very well known for its trade fairs. The trade fairs have been going on in Frankfurt since medieval times. One that's known throughout the world is the Motor Show. And also the book show the book exhibition trade fair that's worldwide renowned Frankfurt. Very busy junction up ahead, the Frankfurt Junction, which should be okay today as it is the uh, holiday period. We'll soon be swapping freeways. We'll be going on the 5, on the A5, in the direction south, in the direction of Karlsruhe and Basel. And you'll see a sign that Ausfahrt, that has led to a lot of confusion. That's why you can get signs made up of it. Ausfahrt, that's the exit, and uh, some people have been confused. They see it so often they think it's actual town. <laughs> that's the 
that's why you uh, get t-shirts, sweatshirts that say where the hell is else fart. <laughs> it's, and this is true. We had, when I used to work in Frankfurt, we had someone come visit, I think it was actually from, from London, and they were looking, for, constantly looking for the house fart, <laughs> until we had informed them, um, uh -huh, that means exit. <laughs> so. shortly be seen in the distance some of the buildings belonging to the airport.